What's up, YouTube? My name is Jeans, bringing you guys part six for my playthrough on Pokemon Sword. Before this video even starts, if you find yourself enjoying the content anytime, make sure you smash that like button for me and click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. So guys, in the last episode, we actually completed the fire gym, which was the third gym right here. Now we're going to be moving on to the fourth gym, well, towards the fourth gem, which is in the town Hammerlock, which is across the wild area. Let me pull it up on my map, actually. Let me go here. Right here, if we go to our town map right here, we actually have to head onto the wild area, across this bridge down here, all the way up here, and into Hammerlock, which is right over here. So let's get going. We're going to be exploring a whole different area of the wild area, which I am actually hyped for. But it's actually the stronger area, so which is going to be pretty tough. We cannot catch every single Pokemon over there because there are some level 50 Pokemon and higher up there. So we just got to be careful. We got to make our way through there, catch a few goodies, and then hit Bounce Boogie and Skididdle and on the Hammerlock. But we're going to be making our way up there and then towards the town where the fourth gym is. And I, I think the fourth gym is a psychic. Oh my god, dude, there's a Garbodor. <laughs> but it might be psychic. Let me grab these watch real quick. What we got? We got 50 watch just chilling here. But we got our Rotom bike now, so we can actually travel a little bit faster on our way over here. But we're at the North Lake Melodge. Oh, a little a Liper. We have the first stage, so we're chilling. We're just going to head over this bridge right here and see what kind of Pokemon we have. We can catch up to level... 35 now a snorlax right here this is what i'm talking about that thing's probably pretty high level i ain't really gonna be messing with it we're gonna be collecting some of this and seeing if we got any new pokemon in this grass over here whoa we got that guy we got it oh a ghastly i'm gonna catch this ghastly real quick let's get it what's he doing dude you see that i forget what the karate guy's name is but we oh this is a ghastly it's a coughing my fault my fault i'm dumb but right, what level is this thing on there's neutralizing gas hopefully it's below level 35 so we can get it yes 27 so let's get this bad boy Got this coughing down to red health right here, but I want to see the Galarian coughing for him. It's uh, the Galarian wheezing. He, it's, he's, he's like smokestacks. I want to see him, dude. He's so sick looking, but I haven't seen him in game yet. But there we go. We can catch ourselves this coughing and get moving on to the other Pokemon in this grass. Here we go. We're trying to catch this Sock right here. We found him in the grass just chilling. I'm not sure if he is the first stage or the second stage because I know there's a red karate guy right here. But hopefully he's the first stage so we can just evolve him and then just get the other one in our Pokedex. Let's keep on rolling out here. We're going to keep making our way under this bridge. We have to make our way all the way to the back end of the wild area. Well, I keep hearing Pokemon, but not sure if they're new guys. Okay, no, that's just a power learning right there. We're chilling. We're just going to keep making our way towards the back area over here. What we got? Any new Pokies over here? Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's a little cutie fly. <laughs> just chilling there. Let's keep rolling out. What, oh, what is that? Another Garbodor, dude. Things a unit. It's a unit. Let's grab these watch from this den just chilling here. Any fishing spots over here? What is that? Oh, it's a Linoon. We have the Zigzagoon, so we're chilling. I just keep looking for new Pokemon and all that. Dude, a bunch of coughings over here. Rookities and all that good stuff. That's pretty funny. Any fishing spots? Oh, what's fish right here? And a Garrett. Did you see this? And a Quillfish and a Goldeen chilling there. I'm actually going to get on our foot. So in case we see a fishing spot, like right here, just spawn. We can actually go for it. Let's go. Show me a new water Pokemon. What we got? Come on, come on. Come on, take the bait. Take the bait. Yay. Come on. Something new. Show me something new. Ah, dumb Magikarp right here. I don't want him. I do not want him. I'm just going to run from him. If we can't escape from this bad boy, I'm going to be like, what you mean? <laughs> Let's see. Let's run. There we go. Got away safely. Cool. We're just going to keep heading along this tall grass right here. We're going to bring out our bike. But look, dude, we got a Gyarados just chilling there, which is pretty funny. Any new Pokemon over here? Lion Noon 6. <gasps> a Galissapod? Jeez. That thing will probably murk on us. But we got this Bronzor right here, right? Or Bronzong? No, it's a Bronzor right here. We're going to catch this bad boy right now. Get in here, Bronzor. Dude, he put our, our Dreadnought to sleep. What a punk, dude. Come on, let's go. We're going to get him with a regular Pokeball. He's down in the red. Let's go, dude. New Pokemon to our Pokedex. Jeez, look at this dude. Look at Kalisapod right there. That's actually Wimpod's second stage right here. There, that little bug Pokemon that we caught earlier. But I actually hopped off the bike because it's easier to walk around here and all that. <gasps> Bro, dude, a giant beware. Oh, my lord, dude. We're getting into the big boys. The big boys, yo. But we got this house down here. We're actually going to check it out in a little bit. That's actually... Oh, dude, there's a seismic toad here. But right over there is actually the breeding area. We're going to take a stroll down there, see if there's any new Pokemon just lurking around in these grasses and all that. But it is raining, so we're most likely just going to see the same Pokemon and all that. We got these Beware Stuffles and all that. But we saw that seismic toad. Anything over here while we're chilling? We got a max raid battle over here. We're going to see that in a second. What we got? Oh, dude. Noi bats, zigzagoons, chilling. Now we go. We're good. Here's a little breeding area. We're fine. We're fine. What's in this max raid den? I want to see this. We're going to get the 300 watts here and see what Pokemon is coming out this den. Oh, this is a Joltik. We already have a Joltik. That's fine. Not a big deal. We'll just take the watts and get bouncing boogieing. 
We got more snuffles over here. But we're going to be exploring like a whole different area. What is that? That's a battle toy right there. And what's next to it? <gasps> I don't have this guy. It's a little spider Pokemon. It's second stage is Aqua Raid. But what is this? This is Dupider. This is Dupider right here. We're going to catch this bad boy. He's water buggy. He's actually a really good Pokemon. Get in here, Dupider. Dupider, is that how you say it? I think it's Dupider. Get in here, boy. We're going to catch you. But we're about to head into a whole new area, which is like the desert kind of area. And I'm hyped for that. It's literally right up, up the road here. We'll pass it on our way to Hammerla. Guys, check this out. We found a chub chew right here. Look at it. It's like a bear with a little booger going out his nose because he's cold. <laughs> but he's actually Bear Tick's first stage. He's actually a very cool little bear Pokemon. I like him a lot. Get in there. That a boy. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's keep moving forward along this path right here. Oh, I just heard a Pokemon. That's a Noibat. That's fine. Not too worried about that. What is that? That's the chub chew that we just found. There's a Sneasel. Actually, I want the Sneasel before we get rolling out here. Let's catch this bad boy. Look at him. <laughs> Come on, Sneasel. Get in here. Get in here, Sneasel. Sneasel is actually one of the faster types of this game. She might be one of the fastest when you evolve it into a Weebile. Like, that thing can move. Has some speed to it. Guys, look at this. The desert area I was talking about is right over there. That's the place we have to head to. See that giant building over there between these rocks right here? Jeez. Absolute unit. We're going to collect these 50 watts and keep moving along. We're going to make our way down here. Look at this grass right here. See if any new Pokemon. There's that Sneasel that we just caught. What else we got in here? What else we got? Chilling. What's that? Bow toy, zigzagoon, something random in the grass. Oh, we got the first stage of that, so we're chilling. Look at these, we got these gold lurks right here. Anything else? Anything else? I ain't seeing anything. I'm not seeing anything. I think we're just gonna make this hard right. Oh, that's the second stage. She's a pretty strong Pokemon. Oh my god! A Dusknor? Jeez! Absolute beast right there. We cannot take that thing on. That thing will murk us. Any newbies in here? Nope, just chub at you and all that, but we're gonna head straight on over here. You can start finding some really rare Pokemon around here because this is like the stronger area of the wild. Chub choose. Oh, we hit a sneasel in the grass. I'm gonna just run from this. It's not a big deal. But did you see that duck snore? It's actually cool that we know we can catch dust snores out here because usually you have to trade them while they're holding something. You have to trade uh, the second stage. What's the second stage called? Uh, it's dust skull, and I forget the second stage. But that one's dust snore right there. But jeez, dude, that thing's an absolute beast. So were we not able to run? Were we not able to run here? Okay, there we go. I guess we weren't able to run the first time because I was saying the Sneasel's so fast. It's dirt tough to run away from too. But we're going to start making our way into this area right here. We're definitely going to be having some new Pokemon here. This is the Dusty Bowl right here. Call things. We got second stages. Uh, electrics, I see. Something random in this grass right there. We're not really going to mess with it. We're going to keep heading forward in this little hay grass area. <laughs> I love the way it looks. Looks so cool. Any big boys floating around here? I feel like this, I, this is the part in the trailer where you saw the Tyranitars and all that. What is that? Electrikes just chilling here. We got all these guys already. We got a lot of the smaller Pokemon right here. What we got over here? More little boys. More little boys. Any newbies over here? No, dude. No newbies. I'm going to check this random encounter right here and see what we got. Hopefully, it's something new. What is this? Nope. We had the first stage of that. That's Gossifor's first stage right there. That's what the uh, gym leader, the grass gym leader had. But I'm just going to um, hit the run button on it. I ain't too worried about it. But Oh, that thing's level 40. Oh, luckily, we were able to run away from it. Jeez, that thing's level 45. What are we doing? We have to make our way all the way up there. This is what I was talking about. Oh, my lord. That's a ride on. <laughs> but this is what I was talking about when um, there's big Pokemon over here. So this is what you got to watch out for. You just got to make your way through it. And then probably come back here later because you cannot catch them all here. You cannot do that. Just say, ooh, random encounter. I don't really want to do it. We got these electrons. Jeez, dude. But I think my Toxel evolves at level 30. I think I heard a new Pokemon up here. No, nope, it was just Deuce Piters. Oh, what's this? We actually do not have this. This is the first stage of Steenie, I think. Yeah, right here. I don't think we have this. It's Bound Sweet. Do we have a Bound Sweet? Hopefully, this thing's at level like 40 something. Hopefully, we can take it on. What is it? Come on, show me the level. 29. Okay, we can take this thing on. We're just going to fight it up, get the damage out, and go catch it. I'm pretty sure I had a Steenie, the third evolution of this, in Pokemon Sun and Moon. I think that was the grass type I had. I forget. I really do. But let's catch this thing and get moving along. Check this out, guys. We found an Impidin right here. This is one of the new Pokemon. He is Dark and Fairy, I believe. He is such a strong Pokemon in this game. We're going to catch his first stage. And it evolves into Grim Smile or something like that. A giant beast Pokemon. Let's keep making our way up this way towards Hammerlock. What is that? That's a Rhyhorn. I want him, actually. I want this Rhyhorn. Hopefully it's not a high level. It was chilling out in the thing. It does not say it's looking very strong. It usually says a very strong looking Pokemon whenever you encounter it and it's too high of a level for you. But 32, that's not too bad. 
We can actually catch this. This will be the highest Pokemon because we can catch a Pokemon up to level 35. So we can actually... Nope, we're just going to kill it. Never mind. We'll take that E crit. That's why that hunk of junk. That hunk of junk. Why you got to do that, Dreadnought? He won the XP. But dude, our Toxel, I think it hit, once it hits level 30, it will evolve, which is nice. Well, we killed that Rhyhorn, that hunk of junk. <laughs> Let's keep rolling out here. We're going to make our way all the way up to Hammerlock up this way because we have a whole new route to do. These Pokemon are actually very strong. I'm not really, oh my lord, a Corviknight. Just when I say these Pokemon are very strong. We can actually take them out and get a lot of XP, but they will wipe out our team. Not going to lie here. Jesus, dude, this line, you better not touch me. Of course, he touches me. This hunk of junk right here. We're just going to run away from it. I wonder what level it's on. I do wonder what level it is on right here. Let's see, 28, we can be able to, we should be able to just run away from it. Yeah, there we go. We can actually just hit the bounce of Boogie and keep making our way up towards Hammerlock because I will eventually make my way back here or I might do it on live stream and catch these Pokemon here. Ooh, Soul Rock here, but link will be in the description below for my live stream and all that. You guys should definitely go check me out. Drop a follow, turn on those notifications. It's a stream four plus days every single week. Let's go. We got to make our way over to that opening and that mouth over there. And then, geez, Linoons, what you want? Why? They're so annoying. They're legit so annoying, but this new town that we're going to make be, be making our way to is such a cool looking town. It is absolutely phenomenal. Actually, pff, couldn't get away. Ooh, a little dew blade right there. Okay, cool. We're finally able to run away from that dang line, and it took us a couple tries. I didn't feel like wasting a Poke doll right here. Well, we got some clink clanks and all that stuff. Look at that. We got that bird Pokemon. I forget what that's called over there. We got these trees, but I'm gonna eventually make my way back here because look at these strong guys. We got, we got the cactus Pokemon, Studo Wudo, and all that. Jeez, yo, we got some beasts. What is that? Uh, that's a Pumpkaboo Pokemon. That's Pumpkaboo right there. But this is exactly where we want to make our way to. And you're not allowed in here unless you have the first three badges. So we're going to talk to this guy right here and see what happens and all that stuff. This guy right here just confirms that we have the three gym badges and are allowed in that Hammerlock. But guys, dude, I cannot wait for you guys to see this place. It is like a castle medieval place right here. It looks like dragons could live here. Ready? Just, just wait till you see the opening gates. Like, look at this. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> looks absolutely phenomenal i'm in love with it so much but this is actually where the eighth gym is i believe eighth or seventh but we're actually gonna have to go up here talk to the chairman of the pokemon league and all that and then make our way left of this place and actually go towards the next gym but look at that you got dragons up here oh beautiful this place is gorgeous well, let's actually uh we're gonna go heal up our pokemon real quick and then talk to the chairman and all that good stuff Talk to the chairman real quick inside this castle area. He just tells us how this place is doubled as an energy plant and a gym right here, which is not too much stuff, but this guy is acting shady and he keeps acting shadier and shadier every time we see him, but he actually tells us to head towards Route 6, which is towards the left here. And we can start making our way to the next town and the next gym, but yo, our boy Leon is chilling here. What we got? Gene seems you're doing well collecting gym badges. Yeah, we are. Let's get it. But Hop, did something happen with him? He was acting really odd when I ran into him. He took one look at me and immediately was like, I'm so sorry, Lee. It might be the first time I've heard him apologize for anything, and I have no idea what it was for. Oh, yeah, dude. He took a nice... He, he lost. Yeah, we're going to tell him right now. But it shouldn't be something he gets down on. That's what Lee, Leon says. I like how he calls him Lee. Like, as, like, from, like, a brother perspective, he just calls him Lee for short and all that. So I think that was a nice little touch by Nintendo. Let's keep moving along here. Leon was just curious about his brother Hop and all that because Hop was acting strange because he lost the battle against Bead. So we had to tell him that and kind of show him why he was acting all weird. But we got this Pokeball right here. Two Hyper Potions. Wow. This is our first time getting Hyper Potions, which is nice. But we're going to head to the left of this area right here over this bridge right here and towards Route 6. Let's go. We, we already healed up our Pokemon, all that good stuff. So we're good. We're just going to keep hitting the Bounce Boogie Skididdles. And we can actually make our way over here to this guy right here. This is Rayhan. Oh, if it isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion. Let's see. What's your name again? Our name's Jeans, dog. We are Jeans right here. This is actually Rayhan, who is actually the 8th or 7th gym leader. He is actually the gym leader over at the Dragon Place. He is such a cool looking guy right here. Look at him. Looking sick, but he's actually gonna bring us into this building right here and actually show us some different things. After talking to Ray Hand, we actually come upstairs to learn more about the history of Galar and the region, all that. And Sonia's up here, and these four pictures are kind of like the prophecy right here. So, two boys right here find a wishing star, the place goes under attack, they capture the sword and the shield, and then they become heroes and all that. That kind of sounds familiar considering, um, Jeans and Hop found. They're nice little wishing stars in the beginning of this playthrough, which is cool. So it's saying that this place is going to go under attack. We're going to have to find Sword and Shield. Mm -hmm. Sounds a little familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's go. We talked to Rayhan here once again about the tapestries, those tapestries I just talked to you guys about. What's the prophecy and all that? And now we can make our way outside these doors. Which door do we go towards? Can we head outside these doors? What do you mean? What door do we head outside of? Oh, it's right here. I was like, why am I trying to head outside these doors? I hit the uh, map button on accident. But now we keep making our way towards Route 6, dude. Route 6. Let's go check it out, dude. Hopefully it's something new. We get some new Pokemons and all that. But once we make our way up to Route 6, we'll land at the next town over, which will actually... The fourth gym will be located over there. But, oh, dude. Oh, dude. I always love going towards new routes and all that. Finding new Pokemon, just the new scenery. Oh, look at this. We got a snake Pokemon and Team Yell showing here. What's up, Team Yell? Look at this snake guy. What a cute Silicobra. Just look at those adorable eyes. It's a Silicobra, dude. He looks sick. And I'm guessing we we're probably going to have to burst off with these fools for some unknown reason. But look at this. We got this old lady right here. Who's this old lady? Just walking by. She's like, excuse me. <laughs> Well, let's go. What do you want, Team Yell? What do you want? All oh, hops here. Hop is here. What's going to happen? Are we going to have a nice little double battle once again? Or are we going to go single battle? What is going to go on? Let's go. Yep, we got to battle him. We got to give him a nice quick double battle. I got my Thwacky in the front spot. So we're probably just going to run through this real quick. Hopefully, he has his uh, Sobble second stage in the front spot. But I actually got some XP candies, which I want to use either at the end of this video or at the beginning of the next video. So we can actually level up, we can evolve our Toxel. We're actually probably going to evolve our Toxel in this video today. Oh, we're taking them on one-on-one -on -one separately. Oh, yeah, that's fine. We're going to use Slam. But like I was saying, we can evolve our Toxel probably in this video. And our uh, Sizzlepeed is pretty close. Needs a couple more levels. We can just give it XP Candy to evolve that into Scentus Scorch right here. Slam that down, bring it down to past half health. We can actually finish it off here. I think my Toxel needs a little bit more experience in order to hit 30 and then evolve into Toxtricity, which is awesome. Oh, what's Aftermath do? Jeez. That's such a cool little... um ability right there take some off some of my health when it dies there we go who's gonna level up sizzle people actually level up which is nice he want to learn anything nope he's good he's chilling he's gonna send out lining right here we're just gonna keep current pokemon probably hit it with razor leap and all that but geez these pokemon are starting to get closer to our level so we're gonna actually have to train up off screen probably later in this video or in the next video that's why i think i'm just gonna use the exp candy because that that will just save us time what do we do flinch don't baby doll eyes us. That drops our attack, I believe. Yeah. It's fine. But I think this is a special attack move, so we should be fine. We're just going to rip him up. No, we do not. Not not even that much damage. Let's uh, slam him up. I think like slam would do a good amount of damage. Go baby doll eyes again. Jeez, dude, our attack is dropping hard right here. Might take us a little bit longer to win this battle right here. Yeah, jeez, dude. If he baby doll eyes again, I'm just going to go with the Razor Leaf once again. Night Slash. Jeez, I think it's going to take us out. Isn't that super effective? Nope, it's not. It wasn't a what's it called attack. I thought it was an air attack. Crit, crit, crit. No, it's not going to crit. We're going to switch out our Pokemon to actually... Let's go Corvus Squire right here. We're going to switch out the Corvus Squire to keep our Thwacky alive right here. And so he gets some experience too. He needs to get level 36 and evolve into his final evolution. The giant gorilla. Jeez, dude, that thing's a beast right here. What's this thing going to use? This thing's going to take down. Luckily, we did switch out. Oh my lord, how much damage you do? Okay, he got some recoil damage right there, and then we can finish him off with Pluck. Because our core squad should be... Oh, it's not fast, just lining. It's a quick boy. But we avoided the attack. It's all good. Get plucking. Yee, yee, yee. Hopefully Hop heals up our Pokemon. That would be nice. That would actually be very, very nice. But there we go. Take out... Oh, our Toxel level up. We can take out this Pokemon right here. And there we go. T Defeat Team Yell Grunt. Give us your cash. We're going to get double cash. Jeez, dude, 5,000. Show us our Toxel, Bobby. Come on. Dude, let's go. Let's go. Toxtricity, here we come. I wonder what form it's going to be. I believe if it's yellow, it's amp form. No, we got the low key form, I believe. But still, he looks so sick, dude. Bob's into Toxtricity. Does he want to learn any moves? Dude, he's such a cool Pokemon. He is low key form right there. There's amp form and low key. I don't really know what the difference is. He wants to learn Spark, dude. Of course you can learn Spark. What move are we going to get rid of? What moves you got? Okay, Growl. Get out of here, Growl. Yes, dude. Toxtricity's a beast, dude. Now we can actually start using them in battle and all that and running through stuff with them, which is just awesome, dude. Because when it was just Toxel, he was kind of just like a lightweight and all that. But there we go. He, what happened, Hop? He said, I think I'll just leave this to you. What do you mean, Hop? You hunk of junk? Like, what was that? Hop legit just didn't even fight his battle and wanted us to fight it. That's ridiculous right there. We got to switch out Pokemon. We're going to go into our Dreadnought. And then we're going to probably give some Toxtricity some love in a little bit. But yeah, dude. Let's get it. 
Keep battling. We got a Toxtricity. We got a Bob or uh, Sizzlepeed into Senta Scorch. And then we're going to need one more Pokemon on our team. And I know exactly who that is, but I will not say. We'll actually be doing that later. We're going to Scald him. Try to get this burn. I haven't gotten the burn with the Skull yet. Oh, you Sand attacked us, Lyperd. You Sand attacked us. Get out of my face here. Let's go. Scald it up. Yeet. Burn it. Burn it. Burn the Lyperd. Yes, dude! <laughs> The Pokemon gods were listening to us. We got the burn off with our skull, which is nice. Now we're just going to float into a nice little headbutt here and do some work. Oh, we're probably going to miss this attack. I'm calling it now. We're going to miss this attack. We're doubled on sand attack, so our accuracy is down two spots right here. No, we did not miss. Nice little damage coming off here. Woo! Nice little burn, too. I believe if we miss this... now, we have to hit this attack. We're going to get another... Uh, we're going to go with a headbutt once again. See if we can finish it off here. Let's see. Uh, sand attack. Jeez, we're gonna have to switch out from Adrenal after this live part dies because our accuracy is down. We're just gonna keep missing. It's just gonna take us longer. See? There we go. Avoid the attack right there. We're chilling. Go. Oh, this is the only Pokemon. Okay, this is the only Pokemon this Team Yell Grunt has. And it's a nice little live part right here. There we go. Get that headbutt off and finish this battle off, dude. Let's go. What's our uh, sizzle feed at? 27, I think it just leveled up to. 30, 30, yeah, 27. Who just leveled off? Dreadnought, dude. And bronze were leveled up, so I believe the bronze will actually evolve, which is nice. We can add the bronze song to our Pokedex. There we go. Defeat it. Team Yell grunts right there. We keep moving along here. We got these trainers just chilling on this route, but we got this new route, which is cool. We got all this light up hay area kind of thing, so we're going to have a bunch of new Pokemon after we defeat this trainer. Let's see who she has to throw out first. A Clefairy, dude. A Clefairy, dude. This thing's a unit. Unit. Actually, Clefable would have been a lot stronger. But let's keep rolling out here. Go. We're gonna hit this thing with the Rage Leaf. I think these things are really tanky. That's the only problem. Get out of here. Oh, nice little damage. We bring that thing down the past half. He's got a metronome. This actually uses a random move, I believe. You can use some crazy moves with this. Use Haze. That's gonna poison us, doesn't it? No, it does not. It just takes off all battlefield effects. Okay. What's it? Oh, it's Smog. Smog is the one that poisons you. I remember, because I just remember the little animation in Pokemon Emerald and all that. It would, like, spin around you to poison mist. But there we go. A nice crit, baby. Nice little crit action there. Take him out. Oh, I thought a Corvus Scribe was going to get that level up. Who we got? Clefable. This thing's going to be a beast. It's a normal Pokemon. What's super effective than normal? Should we try out him? No, we're going to go into our Corvus Scribe right here. Because I feel like Pluck would do some work. I just have a feeling. Uh, is it super effective? Because what is she? Is she part psychic? Because if she's part psychic, I think that's super effective to flying. <laughs> but we have Bite and all that with our, uh, what's it called? With our Dreadnought. No, but that does work, dude. Pluck does do some work. He's got a metronome. Jeez, a metronome can use anything, so I was kind of scared. Aurora Sphere, doesn't this just heal up? Or is this a damaging move? Nope, it's a damaging move. Bill. Okay, not very effective. That's chilling. We're chilling. Pluck her up again. Get out of my face, dude. But we're going to be racking up some mean XP. I feel like I don't think we're going to evolve Thwacky in this video. In the next one, when we take on the next gym. Because I think we're just going to finish up this route and then chill at the gym and not take it on. Oh, Smart Strike. What's that do? Jeez. <laughs> Let's go. We can actually finish off this Clefable with this Pluck right here. And our Corvus Squire will actually level up, which is just going to be nice. Are you kidding me? It's on 1 HP. It's going to finish off for Corvus Squire, so now it's not going to level up. Flare Blitz? It's going to kill itself. <laughs> okay, our Corvus Squire will not level up. It's dead. It's died. <laughs> but, bruh, it's dead. It's fine. I actually should have put our Sizzlepeed out there for it to get more XP. But it's fine. We'll throw our Thwacky so we get the... Uh, Wait, what do you mean? You don't take extra damage with Flare Blitz? Wasn't that always a thing? You took recoil damage with it? What do you mean? But there we go. We can take out this Clefable right here and get some XP for everyone. Except for Corvus Ride. Ooh, Sizzle P level up. 28. Everyone got a ton of XP there. That's nice. That is actually real nice. <gasps> Bro, our Sizzle P to Fobs level 28. Our Sizzle P to Fobs level 28. Okay, that's cool. I thought he evolved level 30. Look, we got a Scent the Scorch already, dude. We can start using him in battle and all that good stuff. Yes, Scent the Scorch. Look at him. Dude, he's a unit. He's an absolute unit right there. Okay, let's keep moving along. We got some new Pokemon. What is that? What are these new Pokemon? We got a Yamask right here. And what's that other thing? Is that the Snake Pokemon? Well, we got a Yamask chilling here. We actually got a to Toxtricity right in the front spot. Look at this boy. Sick, dude. I'm so glad I actually put him on our team. Oh my god, dude. Level 33? Jeez, yo. We got some high-level wild Pokemon right here. We got some really high-level Pokemon right here. Let's use this acid. Try to put some damage off on him. I think he's gonna hit... Mmm, that's not very effective. Are you kidding me? I believe it is ground-type, isn't it? Let's try Spark. Let's see. 
Let's go Chuck Chissy Spark. Yep, it does not affect him. Dang it. Let's we gotta switch out Pokemon to catch him. Get in here, you fool! Get in here! We're throwing another great ball at this gym, man. It's been popping out a little bit, which kind of been annoying me, but hopefully we get it. There's three shakes. Come on, one more. Click it. There we go. Get that click, and now we can actually move along here. Okay, let's keep rolling out here. We got all this little stuff over here. Any new Pokemon? Any newbies? Do I see any newbies? What is that? Is that a Diglett? That's a Doug Trio right there. We actually do not want a Doug Trio. What's down here? Anything special? Nice little Pokeball chilling right there. Oh, an Axu! Look at that. Oh, we got an Ultra Ball. Look, an Axu right there. I actually want to go catch this Axu real quick before we start moving up this pathway right here on Route 6. Let's catch this Axu. Jeez, dude, that Axu was an absolute beast, not going to lie right there. Oh, we got a little TM right here. We got a fishing spot right here, which I'm not too worried about. Actually, let's fish right here. See if we got any of these Pokemon right here. Actually, oh, dude, I hit A. I kept mashing A. But we're going to have to get that TM later. We're going to climb back down this ladder and keep moving along here. Dude, that Axu was actually really strong. And we couldn't have caught him because he was just like such a high level and tough to beat. But we got a double battle chilling right here. Who are my top two Pokemon? We're going to bring out the big dogs. We're going to go. Um, who are we going to go? We're going to go Thwacky and Dreadnought right here. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's roll out here with this double battle and start making our way up to the new town, which I am hyped for. But I'm definitely going to have to come back here, maybe on stream or in a uh, different video to catch the other Pokemon. But let's go. We got this double battle right here. We're going to chill out here. Defeat these trainers. Each got one Pokemon. That's fine. We got Toject. Togetic right here and Bisharp right here. Is this Bisharp? No, it's not Bisharp. It's this uh, first stage. It's a uh, Ponyard. Okay, so we're actually going to um, we're gonna scald this little thing right there, and then we're just gonna Razor Leaf. Oh, Razor Leaf not very effective. That's all the Ponyard, right? Oh, but this is double damage. You know, we're just gonna slam this uh, Togetic then. Let's go. Let's do some work. Let's do some work. Slam that thing. Yeah. Go ahead, bring it down. Oh, not past half. That's fine. We're gonna scald this bad boy right here. Go ahead, take him out or something. Do some work. I knew, I knew it wasn't going to take it out. We're not, we're just as strong as these Pokemon, so. Oh my lord, who just hit me with an air, air slash? Jeez, fairy win all my dread and all, right? Okay, we're chilling, we're chilling. Let's keep doing some work. We're going to scald this pawn yard once again, and then we're just going to uh, slam up on this uh, toga tick once again. Bringing it down, then we can slam it up one more time and actually finish it up after this. Unless we get, oh no, I was going to say, unless we crit it. Actually, would have been smart to actually scald the uh, Togetic actually finish that thing off, but that's fine. Oh, a nice little burn. Nice little burn with the skull right there. We got Fury Cutter coming up. Oh, my Dreadnought. What more do you guys want? What you want, fools? What you want? Oh, we're chilling. Ooh, nice little burn action. Yes, dude. This skull should actually take it out with the burn. So we're going to do it one more time. Same thing with the slam again also. And finish off both these Pokemon, I believe. Let's go. Slam that slam. Easy. Bye, Togetic. You're dead. Give me all that XP right there. Enemy crit it. Which is just wonderful, isn't it? It's just nice. And then hopefully this uh, burn and this scald could take this uh, Ponyard out. This Ponyard's a high level. If this thing was a Bob, no, I don't think it will take it out. It stinks, dude. No. Jeez, dude. Fury Cutter. Whoops. Doing some damage. There you go. Take that burn, dog. Take that burn. And then we're just going to mash A on this thing. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> there we go. Finish this thing off with a slam. Boop. Even though it won't be very effective, it'll still kill it. Which is nice because he was on like one HP. But there we go. We're going to rack up the cash. Does this mean we get double double? Because we have an amulet coin and a luck incense shown here. There we go. Get my dreadnought level up, which is nice. I want him to learn crunch, dude. He probably merc on fools with crunch. You guys know what I'm saying? You guys know what I'm saying? Dude. See how much cash that was? 15 grand. It's a nice little batch up here. But we can climb up this little ladder right here. See what else we have. We have this trainer right here. We have Doug Trio right here. Let's go first this trainer real quick. Get whooping on her. <laughs> we got Backpacker Diane right here with Salk right here. I'm actually going to switch out to my what's it called real quick. My Corvus Squire because the what's it called. Her flying moves will actually be super effective to this bad boy right here. So let's switch out to my Corvus Squire real quick and Merc on this thing. It'll just be easy. It'll just be easier to switch out hit it with a pluck two times and it'll be gone. Maybe once. We might. I don't think we'll be able to one shot it. If it was a bottom to a Corvus Knight. Heck yeah, we would be able to. That's fine, dude. Nice little double kick. Does nothing to us. Does absolutely nothing, dude. We chilling. We're actually chilling right here. Let's go. Let's hit this thing with a uh, little pluck action. I want him to learn like wing attack or something strong. But I think it learns Brave Bird when it evolves. Ooh. Did not one hit it, but still, dude. A lot of damage there. He's just going to bulk up. That was dumb. You're dead either way from this pluck coming at you. Go. Hit it with this pluck. See you later, Salk. Dead. And that's our only Pokemon there. I think he gives out a lot of XP. Let's see. I think he's going to give out a decent amount here. Let's see what we got. Mm, not bad at all. Dude, Toxtricity actually leveled up. 
I think it's cool how Toxtricity doesn't learn any moves until he evolves, which it's kind of weird, actually. So it's like, why don't you learn anything? <laughs> That's fine. Let's keep moving up this ladder right here in the Bounce Boogie and Skididdles. Oh, what well, we got this Pokemon Camp right here. And we got this little uh, TM right here. I'm going to grab this TM right here. And there's that town right there. The town is right there. And we got Dig, dude. We got Dig. Yo, look. There's like a Diglett Mayan ruins over there. That's so cool. That's actually so cool right here. What is this trainer right here? Who are you? Name is Carol Liss. I am researching fossils. Okay, so if we find fossils, we can probably come back here and actually get that Pokemon. Because there's fossil Pokemons. What's over here? Can we actually make our way over here? Is there anything over here? Or how do we get our way? Or, or maybe we have to go up the other ladder. Yeah, maybe we have to go- Oh, no, 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 go back up. We probably just have to go left this way. No, wait a minute, that's really confusing. There's nothing up here except for the fossil thing right here, so... Did we just climb up this ladder for nothing? It's kind of lame. Ooh, we got this Pokemon. Let's catch this thing. Get in this Premier Ball right here. Get in it, we plucked it up, knocked it down, this damage right here. Get the Wiggle, another Wiggle, show me a third logo. Come on, click it, click it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's grab this Pokeball right here. We got Light Clay right here, which will uh, take off the effects of Light Screen and the other one. But where do we go from here? I guess we got to go down here and go around, I guess. I guess that's the way we have to go. We got to go this way, I'm guessing now. What we got? It's just this path. Any other ladders? Like, which way do we go? I'm very confused. We go up here? No, there's got to be a way all the way up this way. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's got to be a way. We actually made our way up the right side of this ladder, right of that little camp over there. Now we can make our way towards the end of this route right here. We got this last trainer, I believe, we at the battle right here. And she has, like, some clay in her hands. I bet you she has, like, a clay doll or something Pokemon. But we're gonna whoop... Oh, it's a person. It's Duncan. It's a guy. <laughs> Looks like a girl from the side. But there we go. She has a coughing right here. Or he has a coughing. My fault. Oh, I could get in there. you have any moves that can actually do some work on him? Let's see. How many Pokemon does he have? Probably has, like, five. It's two. <laughs> And right, we're gonna actually uh, slam up on it. We have nine slams left. I think three or two of them will actually take this thing out. Let's see. Come on. Aw. Oh, hopefully we can crit next turn. He's gonna smoke screen us really. Really, dog. He's really gonna smoke screen us. What a chump. What an absolute chump right here. Let's get this slam off. Yay. Get out of my face, little boy. He's gonna clear smog us. Will clear smog actually poison us? No, dude. It's a poison move. And super effective. Jesus. We can actually slam up this coughing, actually finish them off here. Dude, we are whooping, dude. This game is phenomenal, dude. I love everything about it so far. Just everything's just been phenomenal, dude, up to this point. We're about, we're going to be halfway through all the gyms and all that. There we go. Thwacky's almost leveled up to 34, which is nice. Pseudo Wudo, which is actually, we're going to switch Pokemon. Isn't he rock or is he just grass? I think he's rock and grass. We're actually going to go with our Senta score, show you guys a little bit of Senta score's action here. Because I think Flame Wheel will be super effective. Is he rock and grass? Let's see. Hopefully this fire would be super effective. Let's see. Let's see what we have. Not very effective. Oh, okay. But we got Bug Bite here, which is not too bad. Bug Bite will actually Merc on him. Get a Bug Bite. Nice little damage, yo. Showing off some Ascent to Scourge gameplay. Dude, that's going to be super effective. He's Bug. Jeez. <laughs> Sudo Wudo just Merc'd on him. Absolutely Merc'd on him. We're pulling out Dreadnought. Do we pull out Dreadnought? Or Toxtricity? Not very effective. Super effective. We got Skull, dude. That's Night Night. I can't even see it from the... uh. The uh, little side now too as you switch a pokemon you can see what moves are super effective and all that which is cool but we're gonna scald up this studio wudu and probably finish it off here no we do not this thing's an absolute tank oh we do burn it dude we're getting some mean burns today mean burns let's go he's gonna drop rocks on us that hunk of junk that absolute hunk of junk but that burn's gonna take it down a little bit just enough for us to scald it to death right here i think scald's such a good move a water move that can burn let's go dude they can come up big all the time there we go, super effective. Take out that pseudo Wudo right there. And get moving along to the end of thing. 34 Thwacky. Two more levels will actually evolve him, which is nice. Which is actually really nice. Alright, let's hit the bounce and boogie. What do we got over here? This is the town. Look at the Diglets. Big statues of Diglets right there. That is so sick. But we're actually gonna heal up our Pokemon. But what we got right here? Oh, it's showing us the town right here. Dude, it's so cool. This is such a cool town. It's like a little Mayan area. We have the fighting gym. Our Corvus Squire is going to whoop in that gym. He's going to absolutely maul people down in that gym. Just healed up my Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. We're going to be moving on throughout this town. Look at this place. It's so cool. Look at this. We got a bronze over here. Let's go down here. Let's uh, check out back here and all this stuff. Any secret things? There's got to be like a secret like TM up here or something. Let's climb up on this roof and see real quick what we got. Dude, this is sick. 
<laughs> Dude, this place is unreal. Come on. Don't tell me I climbed up here for nothing. Got these gold bars. No, we got this. We got this guy down here. We got this little shiny item. A metal coat. That is actually a really good item. Well, we can hop down here. What we got down here? Ooh, like I said, dude, a nice TM. Venishock. Phenomenal poison move. We can actually give this to our uh, Toxtricity if we did want to. Because that move will actually, it's double damage when somebody is poisoned. So it is actually a very good move. So if he has like, like learns Toxic or something, or like Poison Powder, we can actually use that and then do a double damage hit with Venishock. And it just tears him. It just tears him. Anything down here before we get going? Because I saw a hop. Okay, I guess we go around. I saw a Hop right up there. As you can see, Hop's just chilling over there. So we're probably gonna have to... Oh, wait. There's something sparkly right here. But three Rare Boons. I don't know what the Rare Boons do. I guess I'll figure that out later. But dude, this place is dope. It's dope. A Rocky Helmet. That is actually good. That's actually really good. So whenever... It, say if uh, my Dreadnought's wearing it. If someone hits him, they take damage because he's just wearing the helmet. We got our boy Hop over here. Let's see what he's up to. Jeans! Just looking at us. <laughs> I'm still not too sure what I should do about all the stuff I told you before. About me being weak and dragging down Lee's good name and all, yeah. But the only thing I can do is get stronger, right? So I'm gonna try out all kinds of different things against you and see what works. Alright, dude, you're on. We're gonna get on with this battle right here. And dude, I think... What is it? The Wacky Vols on 36, I believe? Maybe 30... I think I saw something that says 35, but we'll see. He's gonna send out a Cramorant right here. This boy is sick. I have my Corvus Squire out. So should I whoop on it? It's, he is water and flying, dude. Cramorant. I actually haven't seen one of these boys yet. These guys are awesome, dude. I want one. I was going to put one on my team, dude. He's so cool. Cramorant. But this thing is level 28 right here. We're going to battle with a Corvus Squire. I think Corvus Squire evolves on 38. Is that what it is? 38 Corvus Squire and 35 Thwacky, which will be our final evolutions for our whole team, except for one guy who we don't even have on our team. Where'd he go? What did he just use? Fly? We're going to hope we go second. Let's see. Nope. Did he use fly? <laughs> use dive, dude. Wow, dude. You're expecting him to use fly. <gasps> he's got a Pikachu in his mouth. What is this? I know when he surfs, he gets a fish in his mouth and he spits it back. But he's dead now. What? Is <laughs> what is that? That is the nastiest thing I've ever seen. That is so cool. That's probably the coolest thing i ever seen. <laughs> but look at that. Get some nice XP right here. He's about to send out Drizzle right here. We're going to switch over to our Thwacky right here. Is our Thwacky. What is Drizzle? Isn't that a water Pokemon? Drizzle. Yeah, that's a second stage. That's a second stage, okay? I couldn't think of it because I haven't seen it all game. I only saw it once. It's like, who is this? Who's Drizzle? But he's matching our level about right here. We're probably going to one-shot him. I think we are. He's going to sucker punch us. Jeez. Beop. Don't worry, dude. We're going to whoop on him here with this race leave. I think it's going to one-shot him. Nope, pretty darn close, though. We can branch Pokemon actually finish him off. Dude, you say this every time about the super effective stuff. <laughs> He's done, dude. We're gonna Merc on him right here. We're going to Merc on him. Right here. Branch Poke. Nope. See you later, Pump. See you later, Drizzle. Now we have two more Pokemon right here that we have to actually finish off. We're chilling, we're chilling. Everyone's gaining XP. Dreadnought levels up. Wacky's close to getting that level 35. And Toxtricity levels up. Anybody want to learn move? He wants... Oh, perfect. Toxtricity wants to learn Toxic. And we give him Venice Shock later. We're going to take out this Flail. We never use Flail. There you go, Toxtricity. Take that Flail. Use it up, dude. Let's get it. Okay. All right. Pokemon Hops. So he's about to send out Toxel. We're going to switch out to our... Uh, what is he? He's Electric. Oh, it doesn't say. We actually never reverse him. We're going to uh, switch out to our... Sent to Scorch, actually. I want to show you guys off my Sent to Scorch right here. He can do some work. He can do some work, but he only has a Toxel, dude. We have a Toxtricity, but we just Merc on fools. It's fine. Look at this Toxel. <laughs> Toxel's such a cool Pokemon. I love Toxtricity, though. He's so much cooler. Flame Wheel right here. We're going to use it up on him. Let's go. Flame Wheel. Dude, looks so cool when he uses Flame Wheel. He like, rolls up. Oh, dude, we almost one-shot that. He's going to nuzzle us. That might be super effective. No, we're not... Uh, full bug. Really paralyze us? That's bogus, man. That's bogus. We're just gonna bite you up and finish off your third Pokemon. Oh, that slows us down, though. He goes first. Acid's gonna be, do some damage to us. And it crit it? Are you serious? Toxel really crit it. But we can bite with our Scent to Scorch. Take out this Toxel right here. Then who's his last Pokemon? It should be that Corvus Squire that he has. We're just gonna Dreadnought it and use a... Uh, what is it? Rock Tomb? Oh, oh no. Still Cobra. I thought he had a what's called. I guess he changed out for Cramorant. So Cobra is a ground type, I believe. We're going to take out our Thwacky on him and probably just Merc on him. He's either ground or rock, right? Or grass? Is he part grass because he's a snake? Hmm. 
questions. These are questions that need to be solved. <laughs> a silicobra. He's that little snake Pokemon that we actually saw chilling in front of Team Yell earlier. Look at this boy. <laughs> we didn't catch one. There's got to be one over there. We should maybe head back there later or something and do all that. Yeah, dude, I knew he's. Oh, he didn't kill. He got. He's some tank to him. He's gonna glare us. Doesn't that just paralyze us? Yeah. Mm, why? Why is your whole team paralyzing us? <laughs> But there we go. We can actually finish off this Silk Cobra with the Razor Leaf. Oh, he's going to bring a swing first. Unless we don't get paralyzed. Of course. Of course, we do get paralyzed. We are paralyzed and we can't move. We're going to try this again. He's going to... Oh, we get the swing first this time. Perfect. There we go. Finish him off there and finish off Hop, which is just awesome. But we're actually going to be taking on this gym after this, which is just awesome. So hopefully Hop actually heals up our Pokemon and all that good stuff. You defeated Trainer Hop. Let's get it. Let's do this, baby. Look at all that cash, dude. That cash is real, dude. But hopefully Hop does heal up our Pokemon all that. Yeah, dude. Just accept it. You are weak, boy. <laughs> but let's go. Heal up my Pokemon, please, so I don't have to go back and do it. Please. Please, Hop. You hunk of junk, dude. Hunk of junk. Oh, maybe Opal will. Opal is actually the gym leader in this place right here. So let's see. He gives us the lead card right here. Come on. Come on. Heal up my Pokemon. No. So we're going to have to go back and actually heal up our Pokemon and then head to this gym. Oh, yeah, dude. Let's roll up these sick stairs, dude. These stairs look sick. Anything over here? Do I want to actually check out what's over here? That's probably a different route. We're just going to go straight to the gym. It is a fighting gym. So our Corvus Squire is going to lead the way as flying is super effective to the fighting types right here. So we're just going to go right over here. Talk to this guy. Get in our uniform, too. And get this challenge done, dude. I'm hyped, dude. I'm super hyped to actually do this gym right here. Four gyms are going to be down, dude. We are crushing this game here, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you guys dare think I forgot about Luigi's Mansion because I'm going to be recording that tomorrow. So we'll get you guys up or we're going to get a, a video uploaded soon on that because I know you guys do enjoy that content. Well, let's go move into the fighting gym challenge right here. We're going to whoop on this. What is this? It's like all foggy and cool looking. What is this, like pinball? Yo, dude, these gym challenges are sick. These gym challenges are dope. Allow me to explain the gym mission for the Stow on Sides gym. To complete the mission, you'll need to ride in one of these cups and make your way to the goal. Okay. While trying to avoid all the obstacles. Okay. Let me tell you a bit more about how to operate the fun function. Rotate your controller stick to the right of the cup and it will start to spin right. Rotate it to the left and the cup will spin right. Left. If you hit a wall, rotate the stick as quick as you can to get yourself out of that sticky situation. Now have a good time watching the world spin as you try to reach the goal. Okay, pretty simple. It seems like we just got to make our way to the other side here in this little teacup kind of thing. That's pretty dope. We're going to hop inside here and we use our right stick, I believe, to spin everything. Let's see. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Oh, come on. Curve it. Curve it back here. Yeah, we're going to go over to this left side over here and spin it to the right over here. <laughs> what is this, dude? There we go. We make our way at the end of this thing. And is that it? Is that the only thing for this challenge? Or do we got a trainer right here? Let's see. Oh, we got a battleless trainer right here. We're going to give him the whoopings real quick. Dude, let's get it. I think our Thwacky is going to evolve in this episode. And maybe our Corvus Squire too. I think if our Corvus Squire doesn't, we're actually just going to feed him some candies and all that good stuff. Because I have a good amount of candies. We could probably evolve him. Let's go. What you want? Duffle. Level 31 Stuffle. Hopefully we can one-shot him here since he's just stage one. But I don't think we will. I think these things are kind of tanky. Oh, we do. Do we do? Let's go. All right, dude. This game is phenomenal. Let's go. Who's leveling up? Wacky's getting close, dude. Beware, dude. We are not going to one-shot this. But we are going to keep our current Pokemon out here. Dude, I love Beware how he looks and all that. Just looks so innocent, but he's so strong. <laughs> I definitely want one on my team when I play like competitive and stuff. But there we go. We're going to get tons of experience for this. He's going to bind us together here. Squeeze. Oh. <laughs> Do 10 damage, but it's going to keep us in a bind for the rest of this battle here. Which will only be one more turn. So this will be it. Oh my god, dude. The bind itself did more damage than the actual attack did. But there we go. We can finish off this beware with this second pluck right here. And get our team filled with experience. Because this thing probably gives out a ton. We actually crit it too. It's a crit, baby. Let's go. Okay. Let's see how much XP we get. <laughs> A thousand for Corvus Squire and like about 500 for everything else. Corvus Squire wants to learn Drill Peck, dude. Of course, dude. Get rid of this regular Peck right here. Drill Peck is Peck on steroids, bro. But Sent Scorch level up and so did Bronzor, which is nice. Oh, anything you want Sent Scorch? Bronzor leveled up. He wants to run Heavy Slam. Bronzor, I don't care about you. I will never use you. <laughs> Actually, we might. Maybe competitive play because Bronzor could be a 
viable option, but not in the main story. Never in the main story. Okay, let's keep rolling on here. What is what's this do? Would you like to return to the entrance? Oh no. Okay, that would just returns us to the entrance. We're gonna go down this little teacup thing right here. Let's hop on this one. <laughs> let's go. Spin ourselves this way, back towards the right, and then back this way. There we go. Are you kidding me? We have to go all the way around here. Okay, I didn't know this. Let's punch up here. Let's go. Let's go. Spin it. Spin it. There we go. Boom. Spin it again. There you go. Get over there. <laughs> These gym challenges are actually kind of fun. Uh, let's chill here. Gonna spin it all the way to the left here. Get around. There we go. And make our way to this end right here. This one. And then we got this trainer right here. Let's get whomping on him. Let's get whomping on this trainer right here. It's a theme park attraction. That's what he said. He said this, uh, the gym challenge is a theme park attraction. But we got gym trainer Clay right here. Dude, our drill peck is going to murk these guys. Is Farfetch fighting? I thought he was just normal. Hmm, I don't know. But let's see. Let's get whooping on this fool. We're going to drill pack him up. See how much damage we can do with that. Drill peck. Dead. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that drill peck animation is sick. It's just a peck. It's like, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> see you later. Okay, so I guess uh, Farfetch is fighting type. I didn't, I thought he was just normal. Let's go. Everyone's getting some XP. Everybody's getting some XP. Wacky is actually one more Pokemon or one more like battle to actually level one up. Let's go. Let's hop in here and do this one. Let's go. Let's go. Get over there. Uh, which way we got to go? We got to sling down here. There you go, down here. Oh my lord, which way do we want to go? Okay, we're gonna have to spin this way and go around. This way. Oh no, we gotta go all the way. We gotta go all the way around. Okay, I got it, I got it. We gotta get punched here, spin ourselves over here. There we go, and then down here. Then get punched all the way up and then rotate all the way to the right here. There we go, perfect. Perfect, down here. I'm gonna spin back to the left over here. Jeez. Jeez, that was perfect right there. <laughs> The punches were just lined up for us, but there we go. We can finish this off right here. Is this a battle? Is this a gym battle? Yeah, we have to battle this guy and then we can head to the gym leader, which is Opal, right? The lady, Opal. We got gym trainer Simon right here. Hit my Lee, dude. I feel like that's what uh, the gym leader is going to have. It's going to have like Hit my Lee, a beware, like high level beware and all that good stuff. Let's go. What you want? What you want, fool? Level 33. We're going to drill pack this bad boy up. Drill pack. Pew, pew, pew. Murked, murked right there, dude. Thank God we got drill pack at this time. It's actually perfect right here for this gym. Let's go. Thwacky did level up, and I believe he has a chance. I think he might evolve. I think they changed it. It's either 36 or 35. Either way, he's gonna evolve in this episode. Because if he doesn't um, evolve here, we're gonna level him up with this battle and um, the gym leader battle. Oh, bullet punch. That's steel. But still, bullet punch always attacks first. It's like cook attack. It always attacks first. Hit my chance dead. Night night. Night night hit my chain. Perfect. We finish off this trainer right here. And I believe our Thwacky might evolve. Yes, dude! Thwacky is evolving. This is awesome. This is too good to be true right now. Dope, dope, dope. Give me my third stage. We got Rillaboom. He's a unit. This dude's a unit. Your Thwacky evolved in the Rillaboom. Is he gonna learn any cool moves? Hopefully he learns something cool. He's a drummer Pokemon. Absolute beast. Learn a move. What's he gonna learn? Learn drum beating. Of course he can learn that move. Is that his signature move? We're gonna get rid of Branch Poke finally. <laughs> Branch Poke was we learned that. That was his first move he learned. Grookey learned that at level six, but we learned drum beating, which is Roll Boom's signature move right here. That's dope. But now I'm actually gonna go to our bag real quick before we actually go to this final thing. We're gonna give a super potion just to Corvus Squire. So we can get actually get whooping right here. Let's go, dude. Let's get it. To the final, or to the, yeah, the final. I was going to say final gym battle, but to the final place for this gym battle right here. Gym mission is cleared. And now we can head over here and burst off with Opal, the fourth and fighting gym leader. Dun, dun. Let's go. Come on. Come on, baby. What you want? We don't even have to heal up. I already did all that. So my Corvus Squire ran this, but I don't think our Corvus Squire is gonna, going to evolve after this battle. Oh, it's not Opal? I thought Opal was the gym leader. Is it? Who is this? It's B. Okay, that's why Opal gave us that card right there. I don't know. I guess she knew Beast for some reason. But there we go. We can face off here. But like I was saying, if Corvus Squire doesn't get enough levels to evolve, we're just going to feed her a bunch of candy after this gym battle to evolve her. Or him. 
if, it, if it's a guy or girl. But Hitmon Top is the first Pokemon to go out here. We're just gonna, we're just gonna whoop on all this. We're just gonna whoop on this. If we had a Corviknight, we would have eaten it up already. But there we go. Our fan is Dynamax right now. Hopefully, none of these chumps have Rock moves. We will be screwed. Let's go. Drill Peck right off the bat. Dan, 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 dan. Woo! Oh, almost one hit it. That would be nice. He's gonna revenge this. Jeez, that was not very effective and did a poop ton of damage right here. We're gonna drill Peck once again. Their Pokemon are actually very high. They're just as high as our Pokemon. I feel like his, his final Pokemon will be level 36 and then Dynamax it. But there we go, level 35, Dreadnought to 34, Toxtricity to 33. Wow, our whole team's basically leveling up. Pangoro's gonna go out here. We're gonna keep our current Pokemon right here. Because it, I think this Pangoro is actually gonna take out our uh, Corvus Squire right here. So then we can actually just throw in a different Pokemon and probably heal up our Corvus Squire because we're gonna need him. We're gonna need him. Mean damage, dude, mean damage. Hopefully he doesn't kill it. Work up, he's gonna use that. It was actually dumb. He's just gonna raise his stats, but he's dead anyway. He is dead anyway. It would have been good if we missed this attack, but we ain't missing this. We're gonna drill peck once again to finish off this Pankoro and get a ton of experience. This gotta be like a thousand. Over a thousand. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. I would actually like to get my Rillaboom in here at least one time right here in order for to get that double cash right there. But our sentence score should level up. Surfetch is gonna get in here. We're gonna switch out our Pokemon to our boy Rillaboom right here. Let's get our Rillaboom in here and see him do some work. But she has Surfetch. I didn't get to see Surfetch in game yet. It's the Galarian form of uh what's it called? Farfetch's evolution. But let's go, dude. He has a drum! He has drum sticks now instead of just sticks. Alright, let's get it. We're gonna use this new move. We're gonna use this new move, which is drum beating. Let's see how it looks. I just wanna see how it looks. Oh, -ho -ho. Oh, wow, that move is nasty. And what did it do? And it lowers his speed? That is awesome. Yo, holy damage. Jeez. Uh, what are we gonna do now? Are we gonna go drum beating again? I think we're just gonna go straight for the slam real quick. And try to finish him off here. Oh, he avoided it and actually killed us. Jeez, jeez. Oh, it actually didn't kill us. Can we try to slam again? Can we try this? How you avoided our attacks? What you mean? <laughs> oh, but down goes our Rillaboom. Dang it, dude. How you avoid two attacks? We would have murked on him if, if uh, we didn't go down two attacks. That's fine. We're going to send out our Corvus Squire right here. And did we take out two Pokemon so far? Because if so, I'm going to I'm actually going to Dynamax here. Yeah, I'm going to Dynamax my Corvus Squire. Let's go to fight. We're going to Dynamax it. And then we're going to Max Airstream with the Drill Peck. It just stinks our Rillaboom died because his Surfetch avoided two of our attacks. Like, are you kidding me? But drum beating sick, dude. He plays the drums and fines come out and just wham wham. Just start slapping on. That's actually a very sick move. Let's go, Corvus Squire. Muff him up. That's a crazy sound. That's a crazy sound. Beautiful. Got 87 health now. And we're just gonna drill peck this thing and actually say bye-bye. Use detect. Of course it uses detect. Protected itself. Dang, dude, that was actually smart. Actually, does this go through it? How did that kill? I guess it takes out half of the health right there. Couldn't fully protect itself. Okay, that's what it says. Our speed rose, but dang, dude, we're only going to be able to get one hit off because that surfish detected that hunk of junk. But it's fine. We can only get one shot off on the final Pokemon because then we will actually go back down from Dynamax form. The speed rose. Nice, nice, nice. We should get the first shot off. Hopefully we can actually one-shot this bad boy. Oh my XP, dude. 1,240? Machamp is the final Pokemon. And jeez, this thing has a Gigamax form. So we're going to hope to do a lot of damage here. Because I think it's going to kill our uh, Corvus Squire after we take our first hit. Level 36. This thing's a unit. Let's go. Max Airstream this. She's going to Gigamax it. Jeez. This thing, I think this thing looks so cool. Once it's Gigamax ready, check it out, guys. Check this bad boy out. Go ahead, throw it out. Could you imagine if we one-shot this bad boy? That'd be hilarious. Jeez, dude. Absolute beast. Absolute beast. His health goes up tremendously. Are you kidding me? This thing's an absolute unit. Max Airstream that. Go ahead. Take it out. No way. Not a shot there. Not a shot. 
Our speed's gonna ra race. He's gonna use max dark to probably take out our Corvus Squire. No, keeps him alive. We're gonna keep him in, see if this drill pack can actually do it. What that take down? Our special defense. Oh, no, he's probably quicker with the Gigamax. We're probably dead either way. That's what I'm thinking. We're probably dead either way. We'll try drill pack. We'll see if we can hit first. We did hit first. Can this kill? It does. Let's go, Corvus Squire. Let's go, dude. Coming up clutch in this play or in this uh, battle right here. Get a ton of XP too. That's why I was hoping he actually gets the kill. Because look at all his XP he gets. Oh my god. Pushing 2,000 XP. Unreal. But we have defeated Gym Leader B. We're going to get that Gym Badger. We're going to get a nice new TM. And hopefully she gives us like bulk up or something. And look at that cash. 11,000. 11,520. Yo, our Bronzor's evolving. <laughs> it was just chilling there. I'll take it in our Pokedex. That's fine. <laughs> you just ruined the hype. Bronzor just really ruined the hype. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that nice big fat win in this gym battle right here. Get our fourth gym badge. I want to see it. Put it in our little pendant. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yeah, nice little shake of the hands. Oh, dude, that's sick. That's sick. Put it in there. Where's it fit in there? Right there, dude. Awesome, dude. Four gyms down. We're already halfway through the gyms. Now we catch level Pokemon or Pokemon that are level 40. That's awesome. Let's go. We're going to make our way to the front here. And like I said, after we get all of our stuff, what team are we going to get? Revenge. That's actually a good one. And we're going to get the fighting uniform. But I'm actually going to give uh, Corvus Squire a bunch of candies to actually evolve it, which is nice. Let's go. We got that fighting uniform. We get that fighting uniform, boy. Let's go. Let's actually go to our bag real quick. Actually, evolve our Corvus Squire because I feel like it. Because I feel like it. Let's go to our candies. We got 10 EXP candies. We're going to use this item. I think all 10 on this Corvus Squire. Probably won't evolve it, but it will give it some nice XP. Oh, it did actually put it to perfectly level 38 using all 10 of those small candies right there. Actually puts our Cobra Squire up to level 38, which is awesome, dude. Let's go. We got a Cobra Knight. There we go. Our team is all fully evolved right now, except for the one missing link that we have. But we're going to put this Cobra Knight inside our Pokedex right here. And does he learn a move? Hopefully he learns a move. He does. When he evolves, he wants to learn Steel Wing. Not a bad move. Let's do it. Let's get a Steel move up in here because he turns to Steel and Flying. We're going to get rid of a... Uh, we're gonna get a little bit rid of Power Trip. Power Trip's kind of stinky. Only 20 power on it. <laughs> and it's called Power Trip. Like, what you mean? <laughs> but let's go evolve and get ourselves a Corb Knight. And we got real boom in this episode. Let's get it. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As in the next episode, we're gonna be moving along in this game, heading towards the next gym. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.